Here we're going to be working on a device called Auto Pro Pad Basic. I looked it up. This is a key programmer, and they are pretty expensive. It's a $2,000 device. Customer brought it in here because he broke the charging port. The charging port is not on the board. We do not have the charging port. Big Boss already disassembled the board, and it was a little bit tricky to disassemble it. We have not worked on this device before. Everything is in pieces here. That's the device. And I have the board on my bench here. So we're going to go over it and see what's going on. We do not even know the shape of the charging port on this because the piece was not inside the box. So I do not know how it broke and fell off or if it has been opened before. That's how the board looks like. And the charging port, I can tell that it's ripped off from here. Let's take a look at the board. And I'm gonna use our new board holder to put that board in. Look at how nice it secures. And we're gonna be working on this part of the board here, okay? Let's clean up a bit here so we can see what's going on. And uh, we do see three ripped pads, but the connector does not exist. We do not see a connector here, so we do not know the shape of the connector. We have 100 connectors in stock, and I do not know which one to use, but uh, we're going to try to figure this out. Customer really wants it. It's an expensive device, and he wants it fixed. So the thing is, not all the connectors behave the same. Some of the connectors are wired differently, so we do not really know which connector to use. If we try this one here. It's not going to work. The legs are too narrow. They will not go here, so this one will not work. The hole is vertical, the legs are horizontal, so this one is not going to work. So we really have to find the right port for this. I will look for the port, but in the meantime, let's desolder the holes here. We have solder inside the holes, and maybe we can start by running wires to restore those pads. And then we can look for a port that would fit. So let's start by desoldering solder off the hose so we can clean the area. You see how when I applied low melt solder, we can easily wake up the hose. Okay, so this pad goes here, this pad goes here, and this pad goes here. We're going to run the wire from here to here, here to here, here to here. Apply some solder mask so we can secure those wires down in place, and then we're going to have to find a charger port that goes here that actually works. Like I said, we have 100 different types of charging ports, but they're not all wired the same. Okay, so that's wire number one. Okay, and that's wire number two. Now we're gonna do wire number three.
we're gonna apply solder mask so we can secure those wires down in place. Now we're gonna use UV light to cure the solder mask, it's gonna harden. And wires are gonna be solid. Okay, so that's enough UV light. If we look here at our 500 charge and ports box, we have 100 ports, which one should we choose? Okay, so let's look for four legs with vertical legs and not horizontal. That's all the information that we have and five pins, of course. Maybe we can try 58, we'll keep that in mind. Because the back legs are narrow, so they, will, they should fit the hole. Assuming the port is a similar size, 58. Maybe we can try 47. So we have 47, we have 58. maybe seven and with seven and we'll try number two we're gonna try port number seven let's see if port number seven will work here and no legs will not fit here let's try port number what did we say two seven forty seven fifty eight I don't know if I can get to it today yeah Okay, so port number 58 will not work. Let's try port number two. Port number two, and it looks like it fits. Port number two fits, but will it work? We do not know. It fits perfect. Let me also try port number 47. No, this is the wrong one. 47 is the wrong one. So port number two is the one. Unless the port is wired differently and it will not work for this case, we will not know unless we try. So we're going to use port number two. What I need to do now is we need to tin those wires so solder can stick on them. All good. Now let's solder that port. Hopefully this will work, because if it doesn't, then we have to find another port that would fit, and that will work. I really do not want to spend a lot of time working on this and having to go through a lot of ports until we find the right one but this one looks like it's the right one based on the way that it fits we do not know if the previous one had a lip or not we may have a problem with the fitting but honestly no way to find out absolutely no way to find out okay so i'm gonna apply solder onto the tip here like this and then we're gonna press down on the connector
and we're gonna apply solder. I'm just trying to secure the first and last pin so the connector is solid and now we'll do the middle ones. Okay, we should be all good. We still have to solder the bag, but let me do a quick cleanup just to check on what's going on here. The wire is moving with the pin, which is good. All good. Now we're gonna flip the board and solder the back. So let's release the board. And one thing I love about doing the job is that the board is solid in place. The board holder is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna flip the board and solder the back. Just get rid of the glare and let's see how those joints look like. And just like factory, look at the factory and look at ours. You cannot tell the difference. Okay, so let's do a final checkup. Solid. The pin is moving with the wire, which is good. And that's what we want. Pin is moving with the wire. pin is moving with the wire and this pin is solid the job is done the job is done so hopefully it works okay everything's solid and the connector very solid and uh, right there so i'm gonna give it to big boss to reassemble and test and i'll be back Okay, so Big Boss reassembled the device and the setup looks a little bit different. My sister was reorganizing the whole shop and that's what she did for me. I actually like it. Uh, I still have to organize it a bit more. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and test. And Plug it into our power bank and the amp meter is reading 0.70 and device turned on. Perfect. Battery is charging. Battery is probably dead. It's charging now and the charge rate is 0.56. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, we took a device that the customer did not know what to do with and he was at a point where he just wanted to buy another one. It's a $2,000 device. We looked at few charging ports. We made an educated guess and we were able to find the right port for this device. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.